my name is Eric Fitzpatrick, and I'm one of these people who found out about JCI when it was too late for me to join JCI. I remember a couple of years ago listening to Derek Riley talking, and he said that he meets a lot of people who will turn around and say they regret never having been part of the organisation. And certainly I fit into that category. And I fit into that category for a number of reasons. First of all, I've met some fabulous people over the last couple of years since I first offered to deliver some training workshops to, to the organisation. People like yourself, Brian, like Laura, Kira, Adrian, and, and many, many more. And I've seen them grow and develop. But not just that. When you think of what we heard this morning about Kira's story about it, never having been involved in debating before, and how she next week is heading over to Canada to represent Ireland at the debating, the world debating finals. And you stop and you think about the progress and even the impact of that progress. And when I was talking to Kira during the week in advance of today, she was telling me about how she'd never been involved with before, how nervous she was, and now how she's grown. And it's not just about debating, it's about how she's grown as a leader and she's taken on roles that she never believed she would have been capable of taking on. And she can stand in front of people now and speak with real confidence. I'm not going to make reference to some of the things she said earlier on here today in front of camera, but when you think about somebody having the confidence to make reference to what she talked about. And that's what JCI offers. This chance for people to challenge themselves, to meet some people, to learn, to grow, develop, find what's right for them, find the road that's right for them. For me, it's always been about professional development and personal development. For other people, it's been about leadership. And JCI offers both those opportunities. And as I said, I, for one, do see it as a regret that I was never involved in it. But then I'm a little bit too old to be part of the organisation right now. But for anybody who's between 18 and 40, I would absolutely recommend getting involved and not just joining, but actually taking part. Because as I said, I've seen how you guys have blossomed and grown over the last few years as a result of your contributions. I think the number one skill is about being able to communicate the message. So many people will stand up and they will speak believing that they're communicating a message and they're not. I think so many people, there again on the other side you have other people who are nervous about actually speaking and miss out on opportunities. Some people won't even go for interviews because they have to make a presentation as part of the interview. Some people won't look for that promotion. Some people then think that actually they're communicating a really effective message and people who are listening to them don't know what they're talking about. And whether you're looking to grow personally, whether you're looking to lead a team, whether you're looking to progress within your organisation, the ability to stand in front of people and communicate a message and get them to buy into it and be persuaded by your argument is, I feel, the number one skill. The rest of it flows from being able to communicate your message. We've all seen down through the years examples of people who were so-called leaders and they couldn't get people to, to run with them because they could not communicate that message. So for me, that's the number one skill, certainly something that's available to be learned here within JCI.